Hello, today we will discuss about uh, maximum uh, sketch of variation of shear stress intensity over the entire cross section and we will plot this uh, graph in python. So first we will understand uh, about problem. So we had uh, given a T beam is subject to vertical shear of 12 k, 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 kip determine the maximum shear stress in the beam. Also compute this uh, shear stress jump at the flange with junction AB. Sketch the uh, variation of shear stress intensity over the entire cross section. First we will define our uh, our x is in middle one because it is about x is symmetric. About y it is uh, we will find out y multiply by a this area one this is area two so. 12 multiplied by 3 and this half is 1.5 and same thing we will get our uh, y is 3.3 means it will uh, goes up to this line a n line now i uh, n a line is equal to 1 by 12 b d cube means 12 multiplied by 3 cube divided by 12 and a square plus area 12 multiplied by 3 and h, h means 3.3 .3 multiplied by this 3 divided by 2 means 1.5 up to this line so it is h so a h square same thing area uh, 4 multiplied by 6 cube divided by 12 here you can see that 4 multiplied by 6 cube divided by 12 plus 4 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 means 6 minus 3.30 y square and we got our i is equal to i uh, 390.60 now we will find our q max and q a b so this is somewhat tricky question tricky actually so at 5.5 this neutral axis our shear stress will be maximum and at this uh, here means maximum outside the shear stress will be zero it will be covered with bending stress so here you can see that at graph the shear stress at uh, maximum uh, location uh, is here zero and here is also zero so we will get our uh, maximum stress graph at our y line only so it is same thing so 6 plus 9 minus 3.3 .3 means 5.7 multiply by this 4 inch and 5.7 divided by 2.87 means middle one this one 2.85 is 64.98 same thing we will find our qab it is here 3 multiply by 12 and this is this this up to this one is 1.5 and this is 0.3 so 1.5 plus 0.3 1.8 inch it will come like that and now will our stress intensity v q divided by i t so first we will put our maximum stress 12 multiplied by 64.98 divided by our i value and t value is this 4 inch and we got 0.5 ksi same thing for flange but here the thickness will be this much 12 inches so we here you can get 0.116 ksi same thing for this one but our qab will be different here you can see that 64.98 and here 64.8 so we got 0.49 ksi now we'll plot this function in our python language i have already wrote it you can see that i had import my numpy import my matplot library b value d value t1 t2 and v value v means this force our area is a1 b1 multiplied by t1 this sorry this b1 multiplied by t1 
area to d1 multiplied by t2 so this one d d1 multiplied by t2 and our total area is a1 plus a2 same thing i i find this y function this is same thing i brought but in generic way so if i change this function it will automatically automatically change our graph now we'll find our i value same thing i have plot but in general way print our i value now q max same thing q a b same thing t max our this value v q by i t but our t2 is 4 inch and at flange our uh, b value means 12 here you can see that and t a web so again t2 the main concern about this how to plot that graph so here you can see that my first node is 0 comma 0 so I had this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate so first I have plot 0 as a x coordinate and 0 as a y coordinate now I will go for this one 0.499 ksi so I, I had wrote T max because I, I have maximum value of miss this x coordinate is 0.499 ksi and same thing I had put this is actually 5.7 value uh, so at 5.7 the maximum shear stress occur at this is actually neutral axis 5.7 so at neutral axis shear stress will be maximum same thing TAW means at here AB AB line at AB line TAW and TAF flange same thing AA means uh, D line so 6 inch at 6 inch and again 0 and D1 plus T1 means up to here D1 means this 6 plus T1 3 so total 9 so our, here our plot and again 0 comma 0 means again it will goes from here to here if you plot this file you can get this file like shear stress so thank you guys